strange RV tours will take you places With Greg and Janet's smiling faces You might see a crazy flavored soda review Or some tips to fix your RV too So come along, won't you join us, friend As we discover what's around the bend Just sit right back in your easy chair Strange RV Tours is on the air Strange RV Tours is on the air Hey folks, it's Greg and Chad with Strange RV Tours. Today we are 125 miles north of Pahrump, Nevada and we are in front of the former Cottontail Ranch. This is an abandoned brothel. We're gonna take a look around. Join us. Mm -hmm. All right, and Janet does have some information on this place. Well, the actual place opened in 1967 and it was open till 2004 and this is supposedly where Howard Hughes used to skip town and come out here and see a lady by the name of Sonny okay they say oh he never left he never left Vegas and all this right Ooh. <laughs> 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 Odd sized door. Wow. Okay. Boy, this place has definitely seen better days. Okay, this right here, I believe, was the parlor. Okay? Okay. I, I was telling you about Howard Hughes and all that, but. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, Remember the Dumar guy? Well, in 1967, the pilot, Robert Dero, said he used to fly Hughes out here, okay? To come as, there as a dirt uh, landing strip back behind here somewhere. And the pilot said one time he was asleep, he fell asleep in the kitchen here at the brothel and the girls woke him up because they were closing, right? And Howard Hughes was nowhere to be found. Well, the madam told him they kicked him out because he was drunk and getting out of hand and they made him leave. Well, the pilot goes hunting for him. Next thing you know, the pilot can't find him, okay? So he takes off in the plane and goes back to Vegas. He couldn't find him. But a guy named Dumar. Melvin. Uh, Melvin Dumar, yeah, Melvin. Picked him up. He found him on the side of the road, all beat up. And Hughes talked him into taking him into Vegas. He was on his way to California. But talked him into taking him to Vegas. And that's that big s story about when he left money to Dumar and there's like 16 people that are supposed to get money from Hughes, right? Well, the courts didn't give him money, but anyway, yeah, he, he supposedly uh, left uh, a large sum of money to Melvin Dumar in his will. Right. Melvin ended up not getting the money though right. because right. it was contested. Right. They actually made a movie about that event called Melvin and Howard. Yeah. Good movie. So let's check this place out, son. This is obviously the kitchen and pantry or kitchen right. and laundry room. And look at the wallpaper, baby. Wow. That brothel wallpaper. Okay, then this this has got to be the parlor. They said it was between the offices and the, the other room. Okay. Mm, quick access to the kitchen there. Mm-hmm. Wow, nasty. This entire floor feels spongy from being soaked. I bet it's, I'm sure it's wet. Mm -hmm. 
that front room had water dripping from the ceiling. Yeah. It's like walking on a sponge. Okay, the rooms on this side of the building were for entertaining. Uh, it doesn't look like it's very entertaining to me. Ew. Maybe at one time. Goodness, there's not much left of it, man. Gross. I mean, it's a big, big complex, but... Everything's mushy. <laughs> yeah. Are you are you feeling the mushiness of the carpet too? Yeah. yeah. Gross. Yeah. Oh, this room. This is called the palm room. But the, this big jacuzzi tub. Yeah. Gross, huh? Yeah. That's a patio back there. Strange. Here. Feel the floor. There's a. <laughs> That's a good place for the fridge. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> My goodness. Ooh. There's just not much left. And everywhere you look, there's other hallways leading to, uh, well, I'm assuming, cribs. I don't know. Golly. The, the entertaining rooms were on the east side, and the girls' living quarters were on the west side. So. Well, this would be the east side. Yep. So this was the entertaining area. Wow. <laughs> the graffiti you see on some of these brothels are uh, quite interesting. There you go. Yeah. Mess around and get hantavirus. For sure. Hello? Here's something down here. Hello? I heard something. Oh, stuff blowing outside, hitting the side. Probably. It scared me. <laughs> uh, Beverly Hero was the madam of this place. My goodness. And they were, she was fighting the BLM people because they wanted to move the building off the BLM land. Ah, Apparently. is that what caused them to close eventually? Uh, Do you know? I don't know. I don't know. Um, These walls are all covered with carpet. Soundproofing, baby. Ah, <laughs> one of those type of places. That's weird. It just kind of ends there. Yeah, it looks like it used to be a door. Yeah, used to. That's the key mm -hmm. word there. Mm -hmm. Five and a half foot door. Maybe they made people smaller back in the 60s, Jan. Yeah. Well, Miss Harrell ended up writing a, a book. And... Uh, 1975, but in 1974 she ran for Nevada Assemblyman, wasn't it? Yeah, assembly person. <laughs> Didn't she win too? I, I think so. I think so. Yes. Dark, getting dark in here. Going in the kitchen. Okay. Vandals, man. Amazing. <laughs> I think I lost Janet. Okay. 
So this side was where they lived. Yeah, yeah see the ceiling's leaking here. Yeah, I hear it. They're actually putting a hole in the carpet. Yeah. Just do not put anything in front of the vent. Oh, this was all bed sheets, Jen. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh. I bet they went through a lot of them. Be careful. There's lots of bad stuff. But yeah, full. Yeah, it is. Full fitted, twin flat, twin fitted, regular pillowcases, king pillowcases. Yes. That is definitely where they kept the linens wow. now this side over here was the living quarters correct yeah yeah it wasn't soundproofed <laughs> aha my goodness i wouldn't want to try to move in here now wow. i don't even like walking in this it's just nasty bathrooms yeah some of them had their own ceiling caving in yeah careful baby yeah yeah I just walked through one <clears throat> Wow Watch for nails. Place had a lot of bathrooms. Yikes. I think it's for sale and it's like got four acres. So yeah. I don't know why they were saying it was on BLM anyway. Maybe it was at the time. Yeah. There's a look. There is a landing strip here. You see it clear as day. Sure enough. I'm assuming that sits on the four acres then. Look at that. I don't know. Yep, Janet is right. There is a landing strip right out there. So the whole story does make sense. You know what? Yeah. So this was uh, where Howard Hughes would get away to relieve stress, I guess. Yeah, if you've ever seen the movie Melvin and Howard, you gotta check it out. It's got the, uh, oh, the guy from American Graffiti. I can't think of his name now. Um, the race car driver. What was his name, Jan? In American Graffiti. The guy in the yellow car? Yes. Your favorite yes, car? Yes, I can't think. I can't think of him now. But yeah, he played in uh, Melvin and Howard. He played Melvin. I'm having a brain fart. Well, let's get out of this. Uh, Infested. Yes. Let's get out yeah. of this hantavirus hole. Yeah. Walk around the outside real quick. Yeah, it looks like the Hamburglar was here. Boy, there is not much left of the place, huh? No. Wow. There's a lot of nails over here, Jan.
It's unusual. This brothel doesn't have a swimming pool. It has a tree knocked over on it, though. This was Howard Hughes' favorite brothel. I bet that's where they had a hot tub sitting now, so outdoor hot tub. Maybe, huh? Maybe. Here's a water source here, baby. Yeah. I think like their well was there. Probably. Fake plant out in the middle of the desert, Jim. It looks like real wood. Yeah. Okay, folks, so we hope you enjoyed this little visit that we took out here to the Cottontail Ranch, the former brothel. If you did, please hit the like button, the sub subscribe button, hit the little bell up in the corner. Please share these videos. Check out our Patreon site. And Miss Janet, do you have any last words to say on this location? Well, it is for sale. Looks like there's four acres, but the cleanup is awful. Yeah. Awful. Yeah. Yeah. You guys take it easy. Bye-bye.